Okay, we have the same Mac, and just to prove it, I'm going to show you, right? About this Mac, it's the same 8 gig of RAM. Everything is the same, the same 5.243 to start out with. I have no magical programs up my sleeve, right? Just kind of normal stuff in here. And now we're going to turn Logic into a 64-bit program. And you do it the same way. You find Logic in the Finder. And once it's selected, you say Get Information, which is Command-I. And you go over here to the information box, and instead of checking open in 32-bit mode, you leave it unchecked, which means logic, when you open it, will run in 64-bit mode. Now, what does that mean? Well, you remember, 32-bit mode allows any program to address 4 gigabytes. Well, in 64-bit mode, any program can address 17 billion, that's right, 17 billion gigabytes of RAM. Now, I don't think I could afford to put all those gigabytes of RAM in my system, but let's just see if I can address my measly little 8 gigabytes of RAM. And we're going to do it the same way with opening up this project that has stylus in it and seeing how many instances of stylus that I can create. So here's what our stylus multi sounds like. Now, before we start loading and loading more styluses, let's go over to our input, and I wanted to show you something. Now, all of our plugins are divided into 32 and 64-bit plugins. The 32s are, are named 32-bit, but our 64s aren't named at all, right? They just say AU Instruments. What that means is 32-bit is not going to be the standard anymore. It's going to be 64-bit. 32 will be like the odd guys out. So send an email to all those plugin manufacturers that are still making 32-bit plugs and say, hey, get on board the 64-bit train, or we're going to leave the station without you, man. Hey, let's go back over to the activity monitor and see what's going on. We still have about 5 gig free. Logic is still taking up in the megabytes, you know, maybe 600 megabytes. And let's load up a ton of these styluses and see what's going on here. I'm not sure how far this is going to go. We're already approaching that 32-bit limit, right? We've just surpassed the 32-bit limit. This is kind of like that Energizer bunny, right? It just keeps going. Okay, we're up to 20. I mean, that's almost double what we could get in 32-bit. You can see that all those styluses are loaded up right here. And we can play them. There is also no perceived sluggishness, which is what you get when you start using up too much of your RAM. It, it's acting pretty perky. You know, whenever I click on something, it just kind of reacts. And let's go over and look at our RAM. We still have 2.5 gig free. And you can see right here, we're well above the 4 gig limit. We're already almost 6 gig. Awesome. Let's load some more. I wonder how many more of these we can get. Okay, I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I'm going to add another quick five. That was a video edit, but you can see now we're up to 30 instances of stylus, right? We got a ton of styluses going on here. We still have over one gig free, and we've used up a total of about eight gig here, which is that weird combination of real and virtual memory. Logic still plays fine. Everything is moving snappy, nothing's getting sluggish, and we've got 30 instances of this stylus in there. That's unbelievable. Let's see how far we can get. I mean, it's kind of like a ticking time bomb. I don't know when this is going to explode. Maybe it won't. Okay, we're up to like 37, 38, 38 instances of stylus and you can see right here i'm down to only 85 megabytes of uh free ram now we've probably reached the ceiling and i'm not going to attempt to take this any further but you can see that logic still plays flawlessly and now i'm beginning to wonder what it would cost me to turn my 8 gigabyte system into a 17 billion gigabyte system gee i better start selling a lot more tutorials you know 64-bit logic really rocks see ya